Hi, I'm Mark from Moog Training, and today we've gotten a couple examples of some uh, aluminum steering knuckles that got damaged during service. Uh, what we're going to see here is on a couple of different Dodge trucks. One is a two-wheel drive, one's a four-wheel drive. Uh, we have a damaged uh, steering knuckle from the tie rod being over-tightened and a ball joint from being over-tightened. Basically, people are tightening these with impacts when they should be using a torque wrench. Okay, now we've got uh, the two knuckles here. One of them has a damaged upper ball joint hole. I'll show you what an upper ball joint stud looks like in the good knuckle. And take a look at where the yellow line is in relation to the knuckle. It fits nice and tight as I try to wiggle it. Now I'll move the ball joint stud over to the damaged knuckle. You can see that it sits quite a bit further down in the hole. And has quite a bit of movement in it. And that movement there will eventually damage the hole even further or possibly break the stud. So this again, just to reemphasize, is all because of uh, over tightening with impact tools. One of the things that you also encounter on these knuckles when they have that type of damage is that when the installation has the castle nut going past the pinhole. When it goes past the hole for the cotter pin, a lot of people will say that they need washers here. Well, it's washers are not intended to, you know, fix that problem. The problem is the taper's damaged and unfortunately the knuckle needs to be replaced. So don't put washers here to get that nut back up onto the pinhole.